Hi, thanks for joining me. So uh, today I got a package in the mail from fellow YouTuber uh, Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Um, you guys probably know him, um, but if you know, you should definitely check him out. He's a really cool guy. Uh, he does a lot of stuff about obviously the Sega CD, um, but especially uh, I like his videos on the Dreamcast. He really likes FMV uh, games, which uh, is is cool to hear him talk about. Um, you know, he is a Shadowrun fan, so he's been talking about some of the new um, downloadable you know, Shadowrun games that they've been doing and that kind of stuff. So anyway, just a really cool guy to listen to. He does some, you know, vlog style uh, videos, just sort of getting in front of the camera and talking a lot. So um, really, really fun to listen to him. And he sent me a message the other day. He's like, hey, you know, I want to I wanna send you something. It's, he said it's a little bit goofy. Um, but uh, I, you know, said sure, you know, go for it. So, uh, so I just got this in the mail, and I almost wish that I had recorded myself opening it, um, just because I was so surprised, uh, you know, pleasantly. Um, and you know, I, I even I just laughed out loud because wait, he found some Japanese dramas on VCD, and um, th they're in these nice little box sets here. And this one in particular, um, I have really fond memories of. Long Vacation. This is um, one of the first Japanese dramas that I saw, actually. Uh, one of my friends had a bunch of it, or, you know, the whole thing on VHS. And, uh, you know, we watched it together. And I really liked it. It's, uh, it's about this guy, uh, or these two, you know, of course. Um, this guy's a, a pianist. And the Long Vacation, uh, I think, is... It's kind of about him um, just trying to figure out what to do with his life. You know, he, he's teaching piano, and he, he's not really following his dreams. He doesn't really... He's kind of coasting along, you know. And this girl, honestly, I forget the circumstances, but um, she's just kind of nutty. And I think... I almost think she was turned down at the altar or something. Like, I, I almost remember him finding her in a wedding dress, you know, like... I don't know, distraught or running after the groom or something like that. And um, they end up rooming together. And uh, it's just a fun uh, story. The The format that these take is typically a 12-episode uh, season. And um, I don't know, you know, it's it's been years since I've really been into Japanese dramas. And I was never super into them. Um, but I do have... You know, I, I pulled these out of my shelf here, a couple on VHS of, you know, some of these old dramas from this time period. So we've got, like, uh, um, Bokura ni Aiyo and Kamisama Musuko Shidake. Um, you know, these are, these are two two good ones. Um, well, I don't know, I, I, don't, I never finished Bokura ni Aiyo. I, oh, I don't think this is uh, just the first six episodes, but I know I saw all of uh, Kamisama Musuko Shidake. That, that one's about this girl who... Um, who gets AIDS, and it's really about her, like, just kind of her struggles <laughs> with that, like, sort of what the circumstances are, like, finding out about it, and and then just living with that, and, um, you know, and just trying to, like, kind of sort out her life. It's it's really interesting. You know, one of my friends is, is getting into, like, Korean dramas and Japanese dramas more, and um, he's been watching them on Crunchyroll, and I've watched some of them with him, and... Um, you know, I it's one of those things I might I might get back into again a little bit. At the very least, I'm I'm really going to enjoy, um, you know, going back in time a little bit and uh, and watching Long Vacation and this one here too. Face, um, this is, uh, I think it's Mi Shiranu uh, Koibito, which is like a I don't know unfamiliar lover something like that. Um, and it's you know these these two just the time period especially because these are on VCD. I mean this is back when I was watching this stuff. I never saw this one. Uh, I am familiar with this actress. Uh, interestingly enough, I looked her up online and she um, she did appear in Kamisama Musuko Shidake, so I may recognize her from that. But I think I, I you know her face is more familiar from um, some ninja movie, a live action movie that had, um, you know, it was kind of that classic story of the, the Iga and Koga uh, clans sort of fighting together, the same material that you have in, in Basilisk, the anime, or even Ninja Scroll was kind of about um, those clans, I believe. Um, but anyway, I think it was like Heart, Heart and Sword, something along those lines. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'll definitely check, check this one out. And... Um, you know, just some really fun memories here. Um, I think I just think it was 
it was so nice of Mike to think of me, and additionally, I think it was such a, a great coincidence and surprise to um, you know actually have come across something that I uh, saw back in the day, and <laughs> for him to just decide to send that to me, I think is really cool. So anyway, um, you know, I guess I'll do a little vlog here. I wanted to just show off um, some of what I've been working on with my uh, room. So welcome to Shaky Cam. Um, so just a, an update on my shelves here. You guys might remember that, um, you know, originally I've had um, these shelves here, and these are set up pretty much the way they have been. Um, and I've had these shelves, two of these little media rack units. There was one here and one over here. But I recently got two more of these style shelves, um, which I may be starting to have a little bit of an issue with, but I don't know that I'll go into that right now. Um, well, I guess this since I mentioned it. Um, I'm afraid that these shelves themselves uh, might be bowing just a little bit in the middle. You know, it's kind of that particle board, and I'm like, you know, when this stuff isn't some hardwood or something like that, I mean, it's made to have media on it, and, you know, CDs and such are, are heavy, but I really think that they're bowing a little bit, so I'm a little disappointed in that. But, um... It might just be an optical illusion, I don't know, I'll have to take some out and um, check them against something flat, and that kind of thing. But anyway, um, before I noticed that, I got another two of these, and um, you know, because I like how they look, and I like how they store my stuff, um, I like I can put uh, things on top, I think setting box sets and stuff like that up there really frees up space for the rest of the stuff, and um, they're really versatile for all kinds of different sizes. Um, so I, I put out some of my game collection that I would started to pack away into um, little plastic shelves, like plastic um, drawers, and um, I like this a lot better. Uh, when you pack stuff away, you just, you forget about it, you know? So what I did here, uh, I made some room for uh, some more anime. Um, you can see here I've got room for, this is my, my Blu-ray section, so I can expand that more. I'm expecting to be getting all these Ranma discs so those can uh, expand out a bit. And then um, my anime, uh, I'm definitely going to be expanding here. So um, the main change, though, that I did was uh, I moved all of this stuff out a little bit, about a, a couple feet, and um, so that I can get back here and put shelves um, behind uh, my TV, all my electronics and stuff. Now, I don't have a before and after, but just imagine this space filled with a sea of wires. Um, all this, all this stuff, these wires were just covering this whole area here. Um, and, you know, imagine that these used to be back a couple of feet. Um, I was not sure how this was going to work out. But, uh, thankfully, it's working out really well. Um, I took this other shelf, flipped it around, and put it behind here. And, uh, and I cleaned all this stuff up. Uh, I wrapped all these cables. Uh, I, I sort of, you know, put some tape around a lot of them, just looped them up so that they're not hanging all over the place. Um, everything is, you know, like a lot of the video stuff is just sort of looping up through here so that it's not all dangling around on the ground. Uh, a lot of the power stuff is the same thing, kind of looped through here so that it just goes down the side of this nicely. Um, everything that's plugged in here is plugged into this particular, um, charger, or, uh, power strip. Some of them were, you know, plugged into over here, or some of the stuff from over here was plugged into over there. It was all crossed off, you know, crossed over and just really messy. So, um, so this is way nicer. I've been able to, you know, tuck a lot of this, um, stuff right underneath here, which it used to, it used to be out. Um, and it's just really organized. Uh, I really am happy with this. I can get right back here, get to all this stuff. Um, you can see here I've got some more room to expand my game collection. And then, um, I've got the rest of my anime uh, collection here, and, you know, I don't know that I want to, um, you know, keep going with, uh, with this kind of shelf, you know, as time goes by, I might like to get some more of these, um, as I need to just fill up the rest of the space here, but I've got this one here to kind of, um, keep going, so that's a lot of extra storage space, and as you can see here, I have this whole wall, um, I should probably be able to fit about another four, um, shelves uh, of this size in that area if I needed, um, I, I really don't, I hope that my collection, um, I mean, it would be, it would be cool to have a big collection like that, but, um, I really want my collecting to, to 
start to slow down a little bit here at some point. I, I, I hope that my wants um, do not warrant uh, that many shelves here. But we'll see how that goes in the future. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that because uh, it was a project that I took a lot of time doing and it uh, I think it worked out really well. So anyway, just a little, little room update for you. So just a quick PS here. Um, I opened these up and I did see a note here from Vampire Mike. Uh, he says, hey Matt, Saw these in a thrift shop and was hoping for some English subs slash Sega Saturn VCD goodness. Uh, they work on my Saturn, but alas, are all in Japanese. Hopefully you find these soap operas interesting, with a little um, kind of disgruntled smiley face on it. Hope all is well. Much love. Vampire Mike, Sega CD Universe. So uh, anyway, thanks again. Um, I really appreciate this. Um, you know, Again, thanks for thinking of me, and um, I just think it's so cool that uh, you just ended up you know, running across something that um, that I really have uh, some some fond memories of. So thanks again. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. I uh, hope that you will join me again uh, for more videos.